Hi everybody. We are looking in the end of my 20 gallon German Blue Ram tank. And I have added a new angel fish into this tank. You can see it right there. It's a panda angel. And I've been watching the way the ram has been interacting with the angel. And so far there hasn't been any aggression. But he definitely doesn't seem like he's happy about having the angel fish in his tank. He's been just sort of intimidating him. Just kind of leaning on him. Looking tough. Putting his fins up. And just sort of keeps following him around the tank. Not 100% sure what's going on with that. Uh, all the stuff you see swirling around, most of that is food. Some of it's detritus. Some of the fish are kicking up uh, stuff off the bottom while they feed. But I especially wanted to get this on video because I happened to notice my banjo cat is hanging out on the rock right there. I seldom see that fish, and when I do see it, it's usually lying on the bottom. Uh, it tries to find a nice little spot where the mulm has collected and it sort of buries itself in the mulm. Uh, I think in the natural world it would probably be in a sandier environment or a muddier environment and it would bury itself in the sand or mud on the bottom. Uh, and it can't do that here so it sort of buries itself in the mulm because that's the only stuff soft enough for it to really get in there uh, and bury itself in. So you can see what I mean about the ram back there. He's definitely sort of leaning on that angelfish, but it doesn't seem like it's actual aggression. And the angelfish doesn't seem to be that stressed out about it. Uh, within a few weeks, that angelfish is going to be bigger than that ram anyway. So at this point, I'm not too concerned about it. But I did want to get a little bit of that activity on behavior. I mean, a little bit of that behavior on a video here. And I figured with my banjo cat sitting out on the rock like that, now would be a great time to do it. So there you go. That's a first look at my new panda angel in what is hopefully going to be its forever home. A 20-gallon tank is sort of borderline as to whether you can keep an angelfish in it or not. If the angelfish is a fast grower and it gets nice and big, it will certainly outgrow a 20. But if it stays compact, I don't overfeed it we don't keep the temperature too warm and it doesn't grow too fast then I might be able to keep it in this 20 for the rest of its life not really anticipating it at this point but we'll have to wait and see how it all turns out so there you go everybody just a little update on my new fish thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed don't forget I do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time those are always a lot of fun you don't want to miss that so once again make sure you're subscribed Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you real soon on the next one.